Hey everyone, it is Professor Lee, and this is your course orientation overview for this OT-166 Current Procedural Coding course. Um, so when you log into Canvas, you will land at your dashboard, and from the dashboard you click on the course that you want to begin working in. So when you click on the OT-166 course, you'll land at the homepage that looks like this and there's a couple of things I want to point out here on the home page so you have this left hand global navigation panel over here and this is where you're going to find a bunch of useful links to different components of the course so we begin with the announcements tab where you will find all of the announcement information that I post from week to week the second tab down uh, under that is the modules tab you'll do quite a bit of your work in the modules tab the modules are the um, weekly chunks of information and content that you'll need to work through and complete. The syllabus tab is where you're going to be able to locate your syllabus and schedule information. My lab and mastering, if you are um, seeing this orientation video and it's for a course that I have um, decided to use Connect in, then this will be Connect here instead of My Lab and Mastering. But My Lab and Mastering tab is where you are going to go to register for access to the My Health Professions lab in order to access your assignments. Your grades tab is pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then these last few tabs down here are important for communication. So the office hours appointments you can click here to schedule an office hour appointment with me and then when it's time to meet online for the office hour appointment you can click this zoom meeting button and that will launch the zoom meeting for you the student lounge is an area for you to communicate with one another. Um, I don't really participate too often in the student lounge. It's more just kind of a water cooler area for students in the course to converse. This is also where you can um, sign up for a study group. And so I'll show you that. So you can use this uh, water cooler area or student lounge area to find study buddies, um, to interact and converse with your peers, and then there's a screenshot here that shows you how to sign up for a study group. The general Q&A section over here is just for general question and answers about the course. People is the tab that you're going to need in order to um, form a study group. And then the chat function is available for you to chat with me or with other students when we are online. So from the home page, you have eight icons that you can click on, and they will take you to a different section in the orientation module. You can click on these for easy access throughout the course without having to go through the actual orientation module. But I'm going to show you um, what you'll need to do this first week. Let me get out of the student view. There we go. OK, so four modules you'll see that the orientation module is labeled start here and also I put a note in here that some of the icons on the home page link to a page here in the orientation module so that they're there again for easy future reference but you want to make sure that you read each of the pages in this orientation module and complete all of the tasks you'll notice that it says complete all items at the top of the module and that is because you're required to complete all of those items so the first page includes some pretty basic information about the course, important stuff for you to know. The second page is a welcome letter. The third page is an introduction about myself, um, course description, outcomes, required materials, grading standards, and there's all these things down here. Um, this page is going to be very helpful for you throughout the course, the tutorials page. Here is where I post all of the different um, how-to videos and step-by-step -step instructions for things that you're going to to need throughout the course and let me flip back here um, how to complete the group discussions this course has group discussions so there's information there on how to complete those group discussions a couple videos in there for you and then your orientation assignments is last so once you've completed that you will then need to go and complete the student online learning orientation and 
Lastly, the first week you will start to work through the week one module. So you have orientation assignments that you need to complete. The syllabus acknowledgement is due on Wednesday. Your first discussion board post is due Thursday. And then on Sunday you have this no filter assignment as well as peer discussion replies. You can then um, make sure that you are registered for MyLab and begin working on the Chapter 25 and Chapter 27 work for the week. So the way that each of these modules is set up, and you'll see this is the same for each module, is there's a chapter content header and then a learning objectives page. So in the learning objectives page, that's where you're going to want to check first each week because it gives you all the information that you're going to need to be successful in completing the work for the week. So there will be a weekly workflow diagram for each day that you need to be um, completing tasks. The learning objectives will be listed there and then what you need to do in order to achieve these learning objectives will be in the next section down. So there'll often be videos for you to watch, one or two. Sometimes in the heavier chapters there's three or four. So make sure that you are making enough time to watch those um, by the end of the week. And then the very last section of the learning objectives page will be your supplemental learning materials. So these are materials that are suggested to enhance your learning, but they are not graded. So here's some information there. All of the learning objectives pages are built the same, and so you'll get um, in the habit of checking those and seeing what it is you need to do each week um, by reading those pages. The next couple of uh, items in each module are the homework and the coding activities. And most weeks there will be a group discussion as well or a discussion board post that will be required as well. And so you will click there and then you will follow the prompts for the discussion. There is a video in those group discussion board directions that shows you um, how to utilize group discussions if you are unfamiliar with how those work. So that's pretty much it. All of the modules, like I said, are pretty much built the same. Um, some modules have an exam or a survey. Others have a feedback survey um, that links out to a, a separate website. And um, so basically when you're working through the modules, you want to make sure that you are always working from top to bottom of the modules so that you complete all the tasks in a timely manner. All of the assignments um, are open to you at the beginning of the course. So you are welcome to work ahead uh, as far as you would like. However, the exams won't open for the midterm and the final or any other exams that may be in the course. Those don't open until Monday of the week that they are due and then they will close the following Sunday with the exception of the final exam because it's delivered during a short week. So you want to make sure you're paying attention to due dates and things like that. Um, an easy way to see those due dates is to click on the syllabus and you can see things that are due day by day and week by week. And then, um, okay, one quick note about the grades tab is uh, to show you that you can practice your score, not practice, you can simulate scores using this what if feature and so that's pretty nice um, and then there will be a running total down at the bottom and then also over here to the right hand side. So that's your basic trip through navigating the course. If you have questions please do let me know of course and I will be happy to answer those for you. I look forward to a fun semester with everyone. Take care.